and how we empower, empower women. And uh, the first uh, question I get asked in most uh, of these forums and uh, discussions, impromptu discussions is, what is it that is most gratifying for a plastic surgeon? And uh, the answers could be for monetary reasons, it could be for a lifestyle, it could be for so many other uh, materialistic things, but to me as a plastic surgeon, it's all about empowering and enhancing the quality of lives of our patients that we attend to. And being a, a women's uh, conclave, uh, I'm going to be discussing, sharing my uh, experiences in enhancing the quality of uh, our patients. And that's what is my talk about in the next 10 minutes. Now, we talk about empowerment. What is it all about? So many definitions are there, but you could, you could tell that uh, uh, it could be so many of these things, asserting differences, wanting a gender equality, and so on and so forth. But for us, plastic surgeons, it's all about bringing out the, uh, the inner image, the self-confidence, and bringing out the best in our patients. So this is what uh, is actually the empowerment all about for us plastic surgeons. Now, the role of a plastic surgeon would be to actually listen to our patients, understand their needs, to be empathetic, and also to, to share their emotions in their journeys of undergoing a reformative or a transformative surgery. Now, majority of us would think that plastic surgeons are only doing surgeries on Kim Kardashians, the celebrities, and you know, I'm going to be get the flat for all kinds of uh, things which are there in the, uh, in the media. But unfortunately, uh, uh, we are not into all that completely. 10% of our work is probably that, but 90% of our work is we are actually transforming lives in patients who are unfortunate. I mean, we are very fortunate that God has uh, bestowed upon us the features, the structures, and we're very fortunate in this room. But think of the thousands and millions of patients who can actually be affected by an accident. It could be a burn, it could be a cancer. All these things are going to take a toll on your body. And what do these people do? They're, they're suffering from loss of self-esteem, they're suffering from, from depressions, they don't want to mingle with the societies. So we as plastic surgeons, it's our duty that we handle them, take them to their journeys, and make them a productive part of our uh, society. So as reconstructive plastic surgeons, we do a whole lot of uh, surgeries which I will be going through and uh, ultimately making our patients a productive part of the society. Now, uh, this is a, a young girl, and you can see her, uh, the right ear is prominent. You, you can imagine, I mean, what this girl would be going through in school, the ridicule, the peer pressures, the teasing and all that. So, promptly the parents have understood this and they brought this girl to us for the treatment and we corrected this girl child and you can see the, uh, the, the result after the surgery it's completely restored back and you can imagine the girl is going to be comfortable not bothered about the peer pressures and she's back to her studies and whatever after that. Again, a very common problem in our uh, Indian uh, scenario, the cleft lip and the uh, uh, palate. And this child came to us and you can see that the, uh, the lip has been restored and again, uh, the palate has to be operated after a year of age. And the parents are happy and again, this, this child is going to live and is going to become a productive part of the society. Kira is again very common and they are known for uh, recurrences. Can't imagine people to live with these uh, 
deformities in the society and we have to be responsible enough to eradicate them and at least give them a decent decent uh, um, structural uh, difference in, in, in their uh, aspects. Now this is a video who has undergone a, a cleft palate. Can you play the video? Can we have the sound? I just want you to see I mean, how she speaks. So this is a, a child who has had a, a very severe cleft of the palate and without a surgery they will not be able to speak. And one of the most gratifying things is to see a, an operated cleft palate speak in front of us. And that's her after the surgery, you can see the, the palate which is well repaired and having a normal speech. To share and endure our part of our My hope is that it might offer encouragement to those who struggle with their appearance or confidence. In 2011, I was in a serious accident that left me with bones on my face, my neck, and my hands were injured. Unfortunately, I didn't receive the right treatment and things got worse. It was a very tough time for both me and my family. I lost my self-assurance, felt isolated, and I avoided social gatherings. I began to believe that I might never get back on track and my life would go. Then my sister spent a like, whole month searching, researching the best plastic surgeon in Hyderabad. She discovered Dr. Rajesh Vasu. Meeting him was a turning point for me. He took the time to listen to my story and he gave me hope. He assured me that I could return to normal life and I started to believe in myself. In 2020, I had my first surgery. Dr. Fasu and his team were exceptional. They helped me with support. So this is a, a young girl who actually very unfortunately had a, uh, an accident in her childhood, a severe burn, and you can see the uh, the deformity which uh, she's had. It's such a ghastly uh, deformity and uh, involving the entire face, the neck, and even the armpits, and devastating for the uh, for the patient, the family, of course, and. How did we take this uh, patient from point A to point B? You can see this uh, this drastic transformation of this patient um, who's had an entire skin resurface. We used multiple skin grafts. We did a lot of uh, boosting of uh, the skin, did her uh, lips. And ultimately, she's so confident. I mean, I know this girl very well. And uh, she's so, so happy and uh, confident. Not only empowered, but she is making a huge difference in all the other lives which she is encountering. You can see the uh, the difference how uh, she's restored her aesthetic uh, appearance through cosmetic surgery. Again, weight loss is a big thing in our society. A lot of people would want to lose weight through bariatric surgery, through diets so on and so forth. Now, this is something which can happen to a, to a person who loses massively the weight loss and they cannot actually accept or even uh, find the idea that they are going to live in a society with these kind of deformities and we are here for them to restore and get back their confidence and return back to the society. And that's the result after, after a corrective surgery and you can see how this girl has been benefited. Not only just doctors being empathetic, but also the technology which uh, which comes to the fore, and it is this uh, science meeting technology which is working wonders for our patients, especially in plastic surgery where we do a lot of reconstructive uh, surgery. Let's say in a, in a cancer patient, somebody who's had uh, a breast uh, surgery where a part of the breast or the complete part of the breast is removed, and we want to re restore and and uh, 
uh, create the breast. So we have this technology called Indosanin Green Technology where we exactly be precise as to which part of the body is actually having the blood supply and we transfer that part of the blood supply and to be very precise without getting any uh, complications and uh, give a very, very exacting result to our patient. And fortunately, we at Star Hospitals, one of the very few centers, we have this technology much to the aid of our patients. Again, pregnancy takes a huge toll. So some of uh, our patients, they, they do come to us with a very, very deflated abdomen, lower abdomen, a lot of stretch marks, and something which, you know, they, they don't need to live with this, and which is affecting their morale and psyche. We are there for them, and this is a patient who's had the um, two or three deliveries and had this problem, and then that's after her uh, a corrective uh, abdominoplasty. Rhinoplasties, again, a huge problem, uh, especially in uh, South India, where some of our girls would not be happy with their noses, uh, something which is lacking, they're uh, having a low self-esteem, and the parents also think that if they had some restorative surgery or corrective surgery, they could get back onto their lives. And this girl has had a, a simple rhinoplasty, and you can see the uh, change, and again, can uh, boost the confidence in such patients. This girl, uh, this woman, she's actually had sunken uh, cheeks, and she was not able to find jobs because uh, not getting a position, and she somehow felt very, very uh, low in her self-esteem and uh, uh, very low. And after analyzing her face, after analyzing the problems, we felt that a simple corrective surgery like fat grafting could actually better her uh, looks. And after the surgery, within three months of surgery, she's got back to her uh, job and happily living a life. And that's uh, my team at uh, Star Hospitals. It's called Lumina. And all, each and every one is highly empowered. The way we function is to only empower more and more people and get back to their productive best. Thank you all for a very patient hearing. Any questions, I'll be able to take them.